So yeah, this isn't my fancy studio. This isn't my like high end like basement room that has all my equipment. No, this is my kitchen where tonight I am making scones. There's going to be a beer and scone review because I gotta make these scones because I have to make these scones. Don't, don't worry about why I make, the important part is I'm making the scones. But I thought, hey, two birds with one stone. I've got six minutes left on this time or something like that. So I can do this, bam. And I can make the scone. So for once, I can actually kill two birds with one stone. I actually have the time. Ready? And it sounds, the audio is still tingy in the kitchen, but it sounds good up close, but far away. Deal with it. Deal with it. I don't care. I don't care that much. Bam. Blue. Blue, 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 blue. Commonwealth Brewing Company, Pennsylvania? Uh, Overwinteren. Overwinteren. That's their choice of wording. Belgian style white ale. Actually looks pretty cool. 5.2 ABV, Virginia, Commonwealth. I assumed Pennsylvania, but I forgot about Virginia. Go right here, pull it up, and look, I don't know if this pour is gonna be in frame. I really don't, because uh, I shook this before I started, but I, I, I'm just gonna be putting this out here. We're gonna see how it goes. Ooh, light color, look at that, look at that. All right, let's see what I got, hold on. Ooh, clean, ooh. Not bitter, very hoppy though. Very good on the taste. I like it a bunch. It's a little bit weird for right now, alone in my kitchen at night. I actually feel like this is something that I could be having with a meal, but it's not bitter. It's smooth. I could drink a bunch of this really quickly. Mm. But it's um, definitely something that feels like it needs to be on a winter lineup. Like I think this matches. I did all these episodes about Christmas beers and stuff like that. They're, they're trying to pull out cinnamon. They're trying to pull out like this like crisp, uh, lager taste and this is simple this is exactly what that's for cold weather it, right now it's getting warm i'm gonna take a pause i'm gonna, oh i gotta say a score score oh uh, um, i feel like this is a very specific taste this is a um it's very crisp it's very light but it's still got strong flavor ah seven eight out of ten in the right place right with dinner here I am, 10 o'clock, making scones. This feels like I, I should be having something a little bit different. I feel like I'm not enjoying it, so I, 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 I don't know. It's conditional. It's got a real, real, real certain style to it. Hey, I'm gonna take a pause. I'm gonna have a scone, and I'm gonna rate my own scone. I bet you'll be delicious. I bet you'll be great. I'm good. I know what I'm doing. <laughs> All right, it's scone time. Yeah, I'm excited. I got a whole tray of them here. I decided to whip up a glaze really quick while I was going for it, an orange glaze, chocolate chip scone. I was trying to look up a descriptor for like a white Belgian ale, and I was actually realizing like I'm not too far off, except a lot of them say that uh, they have an orange taste or a citrus taste, and I don't think, I don't think there's a strong citrus taste in this. And I don't know if that's my own bias because transition time i did make an orange glaze and i think it's delicious citrus tastes really good in the back so i'm gonna put this together watch this this i already know this is delicious because i made this this is great hmm yeah there you go still warm still chewy chocolate sir orange aftertaste and with this remember how i was, I was just saying well you i'm saying remember for you it was 10 seconds ago I'd be say, <laughs> I said this would be great with dinner. This is perfect for washing it down. Seven out of 10 for pairing this with a good dinner because that's, this is perfect. Mm. Perfect, not bitter, perfect to wash this down with. I am thrilled. This 10 out of 10 because I'm amazing. I know how to make. It is almost blueberry season. I will straight up make, I love making every year. I'll make a blueberry pie for blueberry season. I will do that. I will put that up. I don't even care if you don't watch it. I'm going to make it. It's delicious. I'm going to brag about it. You watch. Next one back in the studio. All right, bye.